Now that we've made our first adjustment, let's make sure that we save our work. And for now, we'll save this as activity two. And I'm just going to put a little extra bit on it. I'm, I'm going to say uh, WIP, which stands for work in progress, because this is not actually going to be the file that we hand in. We're just using it as a temporary file. I'm going to put it into my GIMP folder and click save. And so there it is, activity to work in progress .xcf, and it's RGB color because we've not indexed it anymore. And I've got two layers. So step number one is we need to make her face just a small, a, a little tiny bit smaller. Um, and so in order to do that, I'm going to make sure I'm on that layer. And this scale tool is what we're going to use. It looks like a blue, a small blue box with an arrow pointing to a larger blue box. And because the GIMP works slightly differently, you might think that you want to click and drag on this, and you certainly can. But GIMP has so many pop-up windows that do so many random things that I'm just going to click on her face and stop. And when I click on her face and stop, what I can do is I can sort of move this out of the way. And you can see that there's a width. Uh, sorry, I moved it too far. There's a width and a height and a chain link. So if I grab this corner right now, I can take it so that she's squished um, sideways or that she's squished flat. And we don't want either of those. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to hit reset, which takes her back to the original. And then make sure that this click on this chain link so that it's fixed. And when I do that, you can see that no matter how I drag my mouse in a circle, that her face stays in proportion, the width and height stay in proportion. And so once I do that, I just want to scale it slightly smaller. You'll see the original is still there. And then uh, there's a circle in the center. And if you click and drag on the circle, it's just a nice convenient move tool. So I'm going to keep her slightly off center. I can tell from the point of her chin that it's slightly off to one side of the bottom of the maple leaf. And when I've got it just about right, just a little bit smaller, a little bit off center, then I'm going to hit the scale button. You'll notice here the buttons help is obviously for help. Reset takes you back to the original setting. Cancel will cancel the whole thing and pretend we were never here. So the button here is scale that we want to use. This will happen often that help reset and cancel will occur in these pop up windows. And usually this third button over the one beside cancel is the one that you want to do to make your effect take its place. And now you can see that it's now she's been her face has been scaled just a little bit smaller. I still have the scale tool open. So I'm going to change that in just a second. But uh, first of all, I'm going to save that one more time.